Welcome back, everyone. Oh, excuse me. Manage your channel from your phone. How about shut the fuck? Anyway, Twitch is sending me a message that you should manage your channel from phone. Um, yesterday I done really poor that I deleted the video from Twitch and I should delete the record from the hard drive. Today I just woke up and I didn't even eat and I'm a messed up. I'm a little bit messed up. And I'm not sure if I can do anything right. So today video will be really really quiet. I don't know how to change the description because there is not only one setting page, there's like 200. Frick. I have no idea how to change the setting, David. When I clicked here, it gave me the title only. Maybe from here. No, this is go live notification. Maybe from... You know what's good, I'll write it in the chat. But people don't, don't see the early chat, do they? No idea. Today will be a very quiet stay. So I'm not going to spend too much time trying to explain myself or give excuses or whatever. I'll just try to focus on work. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer. Oh yeah, so this was an issue and I said I was supposed to solve it behind the screen. And I might solve it behind the screen. Hmm, like this. Take a look. <laughs> yeah, today I'm not going to give two fucks. Then why are you streaming? Oh, else my schedule, my work schedule. I can easily say, "Oops, I didn't know." Um, a noob. I don't know how to stream. Ooh.
Don't fuck with me. This is the create. Okay, one last thing. He has a bag. Then what the fuck bag in heaven? Okay. Replace. Go to the test game. Check. When do we do the initialize for the campaign? So the problem is not from the map editor at least. <clears throat> oh hi. Hello. Want to become famous? No, I don't want to become. Change the stream scene. PJ Craft. Thank you very much, PJ Craft, for uh, coming. I'm checking something that I don't want to show. That's why the screen is on. And I'm in a uh, hefty, um, what do you call it? And, uh, not giving a fuck mod, I guess. And yesterday I was doing very bad in code. And today, I just, I was supposed to check something. Where is my bag? The bag exists, then why the hell I can't access the bag? So let's return to the code page. Main. Here. You can't see stuff from the bottom? What do you mean? When in the downtime, is there a screen? Is there something from bottom? I don't know. Uh, oh, 
Aha, thank you for letting me know. Um, I need to change that. Well, um, at least I didn't go to a lot of... Uh, I thought I would go to a decrypted code, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I need to delete that later on. Okay, thank you for giving me a notification. Yeah, uh, this channel is new, and I'm new to Twitch. I never used it before. And I don't know a lot of things. I don't know a lot of things. Is it the clone issue? The clone is an ancient code before I learn how to do a proper a clone. And this code might not be good, and I might need to delete it. So it might be a clone issue. No, the bag exists. The bag exists. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, so the bag got lost after the step, I guess. So let's go back. Set unique active tag. Where are you from? You don't sound like a native speaker, or am I wrong? Yep, I'm not a native speaker, and there's like 7,000 bottles in front of my microphone, and uh, I just woke up because my brother dragged me to visit some family member yesterday before I went to sleep, and we spent five hours instead of getting to bed. And um, I woke up with a bad attitude, and I must stream, and yesterday I didn't stream well, and I was late, and before it I was late, so I was like, yeah, I will start streaming, you just woke up. I'm from Saudi Arabia, and instead of going ranting forever, and I'm not a native speaker, you're right. <coughs> and um, I'm working on my own 2D game engine that I started in 2015 on mono game platform on uh, with C sharp language and um, I decided all of a sudden to replace one of the biggest system I have the control with the characters and um, you can read more details about what the hell I'm doing in what kind of state of process uh this project is going on the details down below it's called a big step i guess and uh why the joystick have an issue now oh the joystick is connected darn it yeah i shouldn't Okay. Yeah, I played Undertale a few days ago, and I connected the joystick, and I might need to remove it because, because I'm in the process of uninstalling how the character move, but I put all the control on, and that was a mistake. I shouldn't identify all the control without finishing what do they do yet. Oh, give me a break. Now what? There is no input. Don't let me disable things. Oh, welcome. Good to know. Germany. I love fantasies, especially Japanese fantasies when they bring or um Middle Asian fantasies when they bring uh, Japanese people, uh, German people, I mean, they always have high tech stuff. And you can consider me an amateur programmer. Well, we all start somewhere. We all start somewhere. If you see the background and the characters I have, uh, that's drawn on the P right back. Let me put P right back for a second. <laughs> Those are my characters that I drew when I was in high school. You can see more of them in my website and I should put down on the flag on the back. 
when I was 18, 17, same in 2003, I uh, made a few games on Visual Basic 6. I taught myself. I didn't have a book. My father never wanted to buy me a book because he told me you should, uh, n n you're making an excuse to distract yourself so you get bad grade. So he didn't want me to learn how to program. And there's no teacher that know how to program, and we don't even have a computer in the in the school. And uh, um, one day, one of my old friends I met, he was selling uh, pirated CDs, and one of them was Visual Basic Five, and I was flying in happiness. I was like, yes, finally got Visual Basic. I want to program. And I got it, I installed it on my old Windows 98, second edition, uh, Pentium uh, 2, was it Pentium 2? It was 300 megahertz, I forgot. And I run the IDE and I didn't know what to do. I spent hours before I found a code called ENT that closed the program. And that was my first program ever. And I'm still proud of it. It's like, uh, we all start from somewhere. We all start from somewhere. <laughs> Unless if you call it so carby like this huge chunk of meat good for nothing, oh god. Why the control manager is crying all of a sudden? So for some reason... Let's check the profile. Let's check the uh, profile. Let's, this is the old... So I'm um, integrating my engine and editor. This is my old map editor, map simulator 2, and this is the new one. And I'm uh, integrating. Uh, I have both of them open so I can check the differences. The control. Let's go to the control. Why the control? It says key zero doesn't exist. And it was the only joystick thing, I believe. Uh, eh, keyboard, 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 keyboard. There's no fucking joystick. I'm creating an engine too, but in Java and completely standalone. Well, you will get a lot of lag about it. You, a lot of people tell you, why don't you use Unreal? Why don't you use um, Unity? Why don't you use tools? Already people done your code. Fuck them. If you want to do something and you believe in yourself, you can do it. Fuck them. I know this is not a professional advice because you cannot compete and make money with tools that you make. People will just walk over you. But it's not up to them to decide what you do. It's not up to them. Exactly. It's simple because it's fun and I can do what I want with it. It's mine. It's all mine. Exactly. Uh, a lot of uh, people were complaining in the early 2008 because they want some features from um, uh, the Unity engine and for years they're sending tickets to the Unity team. We want this feature. We cannot progress with this feature. We're going around to make this feature work. Can you please fix this issue? And the Unity team never gave a fuck. Um, uh, Square Enix all of a sudden start using Unity to make a game and they got the same issue and they send a ticket and in the less than two weeks the next update fixed the issue so yeah yeah the swing library is good it um help a lot to build to the um, component. I have my own GUI system with the priority list and uh, 
uh, mono game doesn't support any kind of GUI and a lot of people use HTML script for to, to, to generate the GUI in the graphical user interface and uh, no uh, I have mine it took me forever to build for some reason he believed we have joysticks this thing have a joystick and I yep and he detected it was BS3. Do you know why? Because I have a software that tricked the computer to think he have a joystick. And it tricked my engine as well. But I'm not pressing anything. And he insists on pressing something. And uh, this is, to be honest, a real issue. Because I don't want my programs crash because there's a key doesn't exist. This is a real issue. is trying to take um, keys and there is a key called zero this is really stupid they say in mono game favorite hey they have a joy new joystick code i need to check it out but now So Bakercraft says, well, I just have a canvas and the rest is a graphic CD. I haven't programmed in Java for a very long time, but I used Swing and Layout to make a puzzle game in 2011, 2012, I don't remember. I have it on my website, you can do download it as well. Uh, uh, Java, even though it's this strong and have variable and it feels like a real language, I kind of prefer C Sharp and Visual Studio, Visual Basic. Am I allowed to send a link? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, a lot of people don't like to receive links and stuff in Twitch, I believe, because some people will just send traps and stuff, I guess. Sure, I will take a look on it, but if you give me a moment, I'm trying to fix this for good. I uh, have a virtual joystick and it's screw up with my controller because it send keys that doesn't exist in the game bad and I'm thinking how to safely fix this issue without fucking up other issues. He not found exception. Okay, which sucker have an issue with the key not found? That's the first question. I mean, what does that even mean? Because we have G press and G press. What is G press? G press are buttons. In which G press? So G press is a dictionary. Uh, Kanban of the number of joystick. The first joystick have a button called zero, and it doesn't exist. So the guy who registered this, where is the uh, but 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 but? So let's go to reference. Find all reference to to the G press. Why it didn't uh, cry when this happened? I could easily just remove the virtual uh, joystick in here and it should be fine. But I wanted. Oh uh, no. Hmm. It crashed exactly in here. This is the update. Let's take a look on this guy. So yeah, the virtual joystick is sending a non-existent button for some reason. 
This is fun. Not really. This is fun. So, um, when this code happened, G press is fine, but G previous press is not fine. But, um, oh, is this the issue so for some reason? Maybe the issue is code is crap. So let's go to the old engine and check what the heck is going on with the joystick. So the old engine He has the same code. I didn't change the code. I'm sure I didn't change the code, but why it's fine. So if I run the old engine, does it crash as well? No. No, it's fine. It's fucking fine. It's moving. So why? 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 It's the same code. So G press the same. It's receiving a button and G previous is receiving a button. Did I delete the code by mistake when I moved it? Oh wow, did I? Huh. Oh no, look at this. It says new button. Wait, in the initialize. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Do I have that? So let's go to the game. Let's go to the initialize. I love this mess. I love this mess. Not really. All choices initialize. Game campaign initialize. Where is fuck me initialize? Where is the control manager initialize? I don't see it. Control zero, the align, test ITCP, campaign. What the hell? What the hell? I should have an initialize to this. Set the map, controller AR, control manager. So in the control manager, it doesn't run before the update what no i put it on the top what the heck happened can you run please nope you want to sleep just like me oh stupid me I didn't define joysticks yet, that's the problem. So we go to delete. We go to test three and we need to Why do I have all this on? <laughs> Let me close some of them. They are making cutter. I don't want them. I don't want them. So the joystick is all control manager joystick AR, joystick AR. Where do we uh, get them? Where do we get them? Joystick update. Why they weren't defined? What's going on? Uh, because um, this define a profile, this define a set. Do defining a profile defining a joystick? I don't think so. 
I don't see anything that um, detect joysticks. But just in case, just in case, we will move this one here. This is blind testing. And it fucked with me. Control manager and didn't define the controllers yet. Programming, you must love the order of code programming when things get messy. This will drive me nuts. This will drive me nuts. Where do I detect these suckers? On the joystick update, right? Yeah. When the joystick update is updated. Here, after it add the buttons. Perfect. Oh, finally. Finally. All right. So let's connect the joystick now. Even though I don't want to test the joystick, screw the joystick. I don't care about the joystick for now. I'm dealing with bigger issues. I'm dealing with stuff not working anymore. And I need to reprogram them in a new way because I'm using a new script system. And I replaced the control system, the action condition. If you want to learn what the action condition mean, you can check the references down on the... Where is the joystick input? Here. Okay. Did I program it? I don't think I programmed it in the new one. So let's program it. So let's go to test three. Um... Yeah, actually, I have even a keyword, key, keyboard, 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 keyboard. I didn't need to check this one here. <clears throat> so let's go to the right and make joystick um, right. Key down and can add. And let's go to left and add joystick left. Save. I replace because there are different projects. One of my friends calls me the coding trans girl. A grill. What? Wow. The coding trans girl. I mean, why not? Why do you call you that? And the joystick is working. The joystick is working. Good. Good. But I can jump with the keyboard. This stupid good for nothing jump. Way too fast. The coding trans girl. Well, you could always be proud when you get called a coder, at least, in any shape or form. I mean, because I code and I'm a trans girl. Well, as I said, trans, you said trans girl, I was like, girl, like, you're making barbecue? That would be nice. That would be nice. You said your engine in Java, do you have an editor? I wonder. We can go to the request, we go to the jump, go to walker. And let's make it, oh, this is the request. Silly, good for nothing you. Let's go to here, walker, jump, and make it six. And make this one eight. Save, replace, go there. I just miswritten. I have 
and this is engine level creator <laughs> just like my uh, my uh, creator is called map simulator it used to create only maps and all of a sudden became responsible on creating everything including the, the game itself uh, the game logic and so yeah yeah made with the engine itself very nice very nice so now he became more floaty to, to be honest i shouldn't focus on making jump and stuff i need to focus on the stupid bag so the bag yes bag let's go bag let's bag let's bag ourselves let's bag the bag yeah freaking bag good for nothing bag 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 uh did the bag work why didn't it crash? It should crash. Why didn't it crash? Yesterday it crashed. Oh, it worked. What the hell? Alright. Bag. So we should have bag, but the bag is a bag. So let's go to the bag. What the hell? Yesterday I tried to run it and it crashed. Maybe I fixed it and I forgot. Haha. -ha. Yeah, the bag is here. Alright. Now, what should I fix if it's not broken, damn it? Next! So, next we need to open this page somehow. I mean, you don't need to use the editor to create something. It's not necessary, just to make stuff easier. Exactly, exactly. The first game engine that I made in 2011, I was in college doing my... For the second time. For the second fucking time. This is the prototype to show the instructors I can use my own interpreter, my own language inside something else. And the map simulator in that time, only responsible on making the maps without objects, only the tills and without creatures. So the creature logic and the keyboard's broken. I have the lift, I need to press it hard. So the, the creatures, I created them in the game uh, hard code and uh, how to move to the second map and how to push the rocks all of that in the hard code and uh, not ha i wasn't happy with that i wasn't happy at all i can switch between the characters and scripts i can create characters on the fly i can press something that doesn't exist in the engine and crash all in there all in good times now can you get the hell out of here I'm a little bit bitter today, so I might curse right and left a little bit. Yeah, I pressed something that... Uh, reference something that doesn't exist yet for testing. I believe if I create a character called Hussein, and uh, then I can jump to it or something, and I didn't create a character and screw it. So uh, it's the same with my first game engine. Uh, my third game engine has an issue. Is that an image? Just to make safe stuff easy. I mean, my editor looks like that. Yeah, sure. This is uh, dive custom entity text box button. So these like uh, you, for the HUD to make GUI package root. Constructor parameters, very nice, very nice. Uh, it could use some uh, some dynamic um, code to construct stuff. Yeah, I wish if I could show you and describe to you all this mess. What do it? What does it do? It's a huge mess, a huge, a lot of work. But that will take years. That will take years. No, I'm not kidding. It will take at least three hours to explain uh, in detail how the tools work in here. After all, I start working on this in June 2015, and I'm still today working on it. Uh, I'm planning after I finish creating um, the Map Simulator 3 and the Game Engine 4 to make a demo video and put it everywhere. But I can even test the animation how it looks like when uh, 
when I put the info in here for the characters. Well, I started working on the editor a week ago, the engine since May. Yeah, that's more than a year, uh, less than a year, almost a year. That's, that's a good start, that's a good start. It's, it takes a lot of effort to make it do the basic things. Just keep working on it. If you have a school, if you have whatever, it does take priority, but you can uh, just have a game to test your engine ability. Try to get in the game jams. I got in game jams to embarrass myself using my own engine. It will show you your weaknesses. Uh, it will show you what your engine lack. <coughs> e so really early state. Yep. Yeah, my first engine was a horrible piece of crap, and uh, I admit it. The code was horrible. Everything was like um, trying to be clever and shoe bigger than what it can handle. And it generates issues, but uh, you cannot improve if you don't make systems. Just keep making systems and keep trying to improve them. Make them faster. You cannot make a perfect code from the first time. A lot of people will come and uh, laugh at your work, call it whatever, and uh, they think they can do better. Mm, ignore them. Just do the systems that you want them to do whatever you need and try to improve over them. It's impossible to make a perfect code from the first time things keep changing and things keep breaking and things uh will show their weaknesses over time i don't really have a ui system right now cam handling is a fucking mess <laughs> the camera handling i have on my engine is the same camera handling from uh my prototype uh, time. It's not only horrible or be, it, it just doesn't exist. It's just useless, totally useless. Tell me about it. I'm still not far enough to consider making more fancy uh, camera work. So I understand. I understand the mess. So sometimes you neglect some system, and over time they will just get outdated uh, and when they uh, start to become really useless then you can consider replace them completely so this problem seems to solve itself for some reason i don't know i don't remember i solved it but uh, hooray get out uh remove the script all in mc no later remove local all local mouse related victors uh, did some of that. Try to improve the mouse drag code. Yeah, right. Good luck. Implement bag and bag MC. So I'm trying to do that. So let's try to open the page even if it's not ready. So, um, close die. No, don't close die. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Test three. So, test three. The bag is number 10. Let's make it. So, uh, go. Oh, I already have it. Okay. The code is already there. Again. I. Crash. Good. System collection generic key not found. What? Inventory. Control request. This is in the creature object. Oh, 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 it's in the key. It's send the request to the the creature. I didn't send a request to the creature. What's going on here? Who sent this request? What the hell? What the hell? Did I send a request? I don't remember I make a request. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Um, did I? 
I maybe I did. Maybe I thought I was a smart ass to write an inventory code. Interact. Oh yeah, I did. Frick. All right, let's make it by the crypt. So instead of having it in a hard code, let's do the script part. Uh, should we? Do we? Have we? Um, I don't think a general script will work. It will, but it might crash if it's written wrong. Darn it. So, page account says graphics G translate X offset X offset. Not Y offset? Yeah, it's Y offset, but I read it wrong. This is basically the whole camera handling. The advantage of my engine is it could run on the fridge. Oh, yeah, Java is uh, pretty light, isn't it? Just like uh, the spaghetti I made, which is sitting there cold. Uh, taunting me because I couldn't eat before the stream start. There is a programmer who using Java and Graphics 3D and made several Polygon 3D games called the programmer name is Fruit. P zero zero T. I respect his work. Uh, I believe like this. Um, three thousand six hundred. Where is uh, RPG robots games? Three thousand thirty six, thirty seven. I forgot the name. Twenty seven. 36 4000 there's each one of them with a number 6 um, 37 36 I don't know steam it's on the steam I don't know I can open steam 4089 I just want the programmer name, damn it. Uh, his name is Ferruz Software, this guy. He done really good work with um, Java 3D. All his engines, all his work. He even made tools to make uh, mods. Um, so uh, you can check his work. This is his uh, game name. Actually, I could just copy the store. And I bought all his games, and uh, I even made a review for one of them, maybe, I guess. I believe I tried to talk to him or something. And uh, he tried to, um, to make his games as um, good as anything else by making support to the fans and to made tools for them to make mods, but no, nobody cares, nobody made mods. Maybe someone made mods, maybe he became famous all of a sudden, I don't know, but I used to play his games a lot. Since his first game, 2086, 87 something. Implement object, uh, object interaction. So let's go to the share functions to the scripts and Try to write a general script to show Group visibility. Yeah, let's do that First of all, let's make sure it exists first And if not if not then we can make one so All right, share functions in the map. Play music, fade out, place 
unique characters. Uh, the quest, change the quest, increment the quest, attribute, show title, add cover. GUI set priority, huh. I even have a code for that, interesting. So let's add one here. Share function AR add show whatever. So this is how you write anonymous functions in C sharp. I'm afraid there is no easy way to determine if the group exists or not. If it doesn't exist, it can crash the game. But for now... Um, and... G number is equal to share function token T with Okay. And K. And here is G number. And here and bar. And we could take a boolean uh, Is it byte? Yep, it's byte We can take a boolean If share function peak t k is not empty, then uh, boolean priority p is equal to true. Uh, P is equal to boolean parse and this and here we can see P so let's use the script uh, this is really stupid maybe I should need to make another one that use uh, um, the group by using the ID. So uh, groups with visibility, do I have one? I mean, we have a group exists actually. Hmm. I could use that. And there is a way to find a name, which is I add it later.
by using the priority list uh, find ID and with that we could use it to find a group number so what we're going to do we're going to make um, another function And here, byte genome is equal to PO find ID ID uh, genome. So uh, actually. I could call the same function and send this there and send x and send set priority and instead of recoding with that we don't even need this we could do the same thing to um, to this guy oops oh ow ow ow, ow. I just want to copy this. Can I copy this? Set priority. Thank you. Oh. String ID. Yeah, and the thing is, if you make your own engine, it will take forever to make a single game. Definitely. So we are going to use um, what just happened? Okay. We are going to use this instead. So we go to the share function. Uh, because the I don't want to do that with using the G number. So So the group, uh, the bag is called walker bag. So in here, we will do the code and uh, need to be add to the general secrets micro builder. Save, replace, test. Crash, definitely part of the job. So what just happened? Key not found again, exception. The going keep item shape was not presented. Hmm. Uh, item shape. Doesn't the game 
engine upload this by itself new 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 um let's go to the old map editor and check the sprite section gooey item shape so hmm yeah it's better to add it by the game itself so uh, i can make special item shape later on for the game so let's go to shapes uh gui and add images content gui down item shape save edit replace go to the pipeline map simulator in the engine stop the running go to the content Go to the GUI, go to the images, GUI, item shape, compile, run, uh, let me close it, run, 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 let's run, let's run away from life, I, and it worked, kinda, sort of. Great! Yeah, it's huge, 20 by 20. I should change the script and make it flip instead of uh, show. But we will do that after the messages. I mean, after be right back. Give me like 10 20 minutes, be right back.
So we are back. What do you think about our greatest invention? The fucked up inventory menu. So what we need to do? First of all, let's make a new script to uh, flip between the menus. So when I click I again, it disappear. So here's the share function. And here's the main menu, uh, main menu, menu component. And we're going to use this. So to use this, to use these, use this, I don't know. We need to make a new function. Let me start the timer. So we officially call ourselves working. Despite what is really happening. And change this. And save and as easy as that, replace. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. I, 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 All right. Now we need to figure out what the heck is going on. Why this is printed in a stupid way. So, um, this is the location. So let's make it 10, 10. Let's make it a little bit lower. <clears throat> I, okay, another thing. Why the fuck this thing is below, um, behind, um, 
What's going on? Because it has been added first. I believe. I believe I can work. Where's test? So we can go to test two. Why test two is running? And we go to the object inventory. How the hell did I trick it? So in the object inventory, it's uh, here. And uh, uh, no idea. No freaking idea. I don't know if it crashed or not now. Uh, I saw some of the issues in the old engine with this project. I, I, E, E, and it crash because there's no cost. Even though this is not supposed to happen because there's supposed to be another quest. My keyboard, left key, is not working like the old days. Everything's getting broken. It's just my... Freaking luck is running out. Um, let's check the code for the other inventory. Screw this one. I don't care about it. And here we have the bag MC, and it added like that. Ah, uh, because it create the frame, then create, okay, okay. No problem, I'm not doing the frame because it's ugly and it has issues and I don't like it. So uh, maybe if we add the back first. And pray. Yeah, that won't happen, would it? Would it now? Oh, 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 wait a second. Aha. We can do this trick. Um, even though the uh, bag MC is um, is a game engine class, not a project class, we are dealing with an interface in here. And interface, we can, can we transform it? Let's take a look. So instead of adding the general code of the BagMC from the game project inventory, we do the opposite. We add the We add this. Can I do that? Well, let's see. It's an interface. Mm, it's expected to have a type of menu component. Can I cast it? Let's see.
Great. It should work, right? Logically. And there you go. There you go. There you freaking go. Don't I need to scale it? The uh, image, I believe I was like, this cool, I don't want to scale it. I'm too lazy. Yeah, yesterday I said that. And, um, let's try to implement to, to hack somehow. So, uh, drag is mouse check drag. The way how I want it to drag is you can only drag it from the top. So we need to check something like this. So let's add this. Okay, okay, copy the whole thing and fix it later. So we don't have frame. And uh, this we will change it into control manager start dragging and this hopefully we won't need it hopefully and this we need to check somehow that the mouse let, let's do it later let's do it later that the mouse is on the top of the uh, lay uh, the page. Uh, let's check if the dragon work first. Then we will add that condition. Hmm. I don't think it works. Okay. This doesn't exist because this is defined locally and this is group core update. Hmm. This is on the mouse drop, okay. Okay, okay, okay. The, 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 let's do this later. Uh, the question is, are we dragging? Oh, fucking you. Fucking you. Fucking you. So, um, yeah. Actually, I should use the uh, GUI uh, the, the, the GUI number. We shouldn't do that. <coughs> it's not even detecting. You gotta love dragging. 
literally, literally, literally. this it is one of the earliest code I ever have uh, when I created the GUI and it's uh, quite a mess because dealing with control in mono game is not something to reveal it's a freaking headache. So the thing is, it doesn't fire at all. Like it doesn't exist. Like it's nobody business. It should be in the control manager responsible on the dragging. Actually, it's even the scroll. Let me see. Who we'll call it? I am draggable. No. I am draggable. And did I miss something? Did I miss something that's related to dragging other than the local dragging? Which I don't want to deal with. It. Draggable is an empty interface, isn't it? Yep. Okay, 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 go, 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 go. Let's go to check. Dragging and take a look at the coral, uh, the call, the core, the core, the code. Too many conditions. Too many fucking conditions. Too many fucking conditions. Is this the issue? Let's take a look. Yep, that was the issue. I didn't even need to make a core update. It understood. So now we want the draggable draggability drag Bluetooth only works on the top. So what we are going to do is first we're going to fix this a little bit. I said a little bit. And then 
and mouse position Y is greater than equal to um, Now what? Why um, mm, Yeah, it is in a mini component, so we can say uh, X X position X G R I said G R E X what location X I completely don't got Telele Telele so let's go to the mini component. What the hell? <coughs> I completely forgot. I haven't worked on this for ages. I even have an owner. Okay. Yeah, it is location, but it is just like, uh, 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 I got no location. Okay, so it must be have the same Y. Uh, me, this, uh, hey, eh? um, me, this, eh. I mean, we are inside the IMC, no? Mm. Actually, I can access IMC for some reason. This is not similar to the actions, isn't it? Really? So it must be greater than the location, but smaller than this location minus 10. Minus, plus. So this is the location. Fucked up. Ta -da! It only works on the top. All right. It's funny because in the older code, it seems to do some redundant crap. Or maybe yesterday when I was working slowly like a slug, I somehow uh, managed to fix the issue of having local is GUI dragon whatever and delete some redundancies. Now, 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 we will add an item and we will try to take it. So we add already an item I believe yesterday, a health pack. So let's save the changes, open the map. Add uh, health vac inside the house and the floor. It. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, it must have a name. Uh, replace and then uh, go to edit. And replace as well and pray pray to the god whoever you worship you are in the wrong project
So now if we have the ugly inventory and we move and we take and we didn't program take. Uh, take, okay. So in the old system, in the action condition, we have something called sub action. Because in the action condition, the system I use to uh, deal with control and characters, I have the details down in the tips and whatever it's called, ter tips and terms in my page. You go to here, you'll see a page down there, terms and references. And if you click on it, it will go to the Google Drive and it will show you what the fudge I'm talking about sometimes. Action condition here. Have fun reading the crap. Um, it doesn't say in detail, but hopefully good enough. So the old action condition, because it's implemented its own crabby version of scripts. When we go to the creature object, it didn't, uh, because of the crappy system actually, because I started there, from there I developed something called the shared functions and made a pool of scripts by using dynamic functions or dynamic methods, which is in C-sharp or fun C or action, depends if you want to return of a uh, type or not. And uh, because of the scrappy system that I'm looking, where is it? Because I'm a little bit wanky. I'm going to curse in all language today. Um, where is it? Default. This one. We have something called sub action which is something to fire, something to do, but it doesn't change the state of the character. So every time you do something like walking, jumping, fall, of the character change in here. So if we go to the state in here, actions, You'll see when he's idle, he's on the ground. When he's walking, he is on the ground and walking. When he's jumping, he is on the air and jump and walk in the same time because this is jumping and moving in the same time. But the normal jump, just jumping and he's on the air. These are states. These called actions. Action, we call them sub-actions. Like taking an item, like aiming up, like... Uh, these uh, things called sub-action. So let's go to the code of the sub-action here. Sub-action request, and we can see the example. Looking up and down, and if he's walking and carry a weapon, he look up and down. And uh, we can actually show that in real time. So this is the old game um, engine. And let's enlarge the screen a little bit. And if I take a weapon and drag it here, drag it here, drag it, oh, because the screen. Um, this the, the, the changing resolution. I uh, this is the forced way to change the resolution, and the way how it print on the page in the old uh, test didn't support that. Uh, I didn't. I need to code that section to make that. But yeah, I didn't fix that. So yeah. So here now, if I walk, I can press up and walk and he will change the angle of the weapon. And he tried to take an item and he evoked something and yeah, fucked up. So, um, uh, 
<sighs> I believe he tried to take the item more than once or something. I don't know what happened to be honest and I don't care. I don't care. All of these problems. So if I hold the weapon and press up, shoot. So up and down doesn't change the state of the character, but to do something like playing a sound, as you see, and fire three bullets. Um, there is no need for sub action anymore. Why? Because I can use the general functions, uh, the general tags instead by using the script because the whole thing now is scripted. Unlike the old system, it was mechanically you need to put everything together. Uh, you need to use the system to set the condition and uh, set the equipment type and set the result animation and use the crabby local first version of tag system. And this is the conditions in here, additional condition. So, uh, new, new, this system made me uh, weep for months. Because every time I want to make something new, I need to deal with it. And every time I need to deal with it, I need to hold my breath for hours trying to figure out what I need to do to make it work. And debugging this, and make it work is a living hell. That's why I'm moving to this. And instead of having the whole the system, I just add a script ba ba box in this area. And uh, this and this scripts should do the, the, all the work instead of dealing with this. So that's the general ID one of the biggest system I'm replacing in the new engine. So back to work, back to work. So instead of having a sub function, we are going to remove that completely. And we, this one, you sucker, going to die. Goodbye. So sub actions should not exist at all because we just can fire general type of uh, functions. So we want to take items. How to take items? Hmm. I don't know. I forgot. Let's go to test two. Let's go to the sub actions that we just got delete in the new engine. And uh, it's in the creature class. Action request, sub action request. Where are we? Where are we? Um, no, it's in the game. I know, silly you, because the whole thing is hard coded. What a way, what a way to make characters. Wait, what? I don't see it. Maybe it's part of... This one? Action request? No. No, it fires up action request. So, this part it for... Changing the angle of the weapon, right? And it return. Outside of this part is uh, for up and down. What the fuck? Oh, maybe there's a different section for only down. Yep, here. So it only take the items that's called active.
This is giving me a headache. This is giving me a headache. This is a little bit weird. Yeah, let me think for a second. Actually, let me try to remake that mistake and check if it related to this code. But this code, it looks annoying. So I was walking and pressing down at the same time, and uh, yeah, he take it all of a sudden. Down, 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 down. Yeah, there's no way to repeat that mistake all of a sudden. It works only when I want it to work, I guess. Nope, didn't crash. I have no idea why it crashed and um... Fuck it. Programming this will be a little bit harder because we need to make several conditions. So, first of all, when do we want the creature be able to take items? So in here, actually he can take them whenever he likes. It seems now. Oh, this is in the release, not in the click down. Really. Really? Really? The down button's a little bit broken, so yeah. When I I'm now I'm holding down, and I l uh, release the key. He take it. Okay. Huh? Now that's weird. Even if I release it at the wrong time, I mean, look at this. This is really fucked up. Um, I'm holding down. I'm going to the weapon. I'm releasing down. He took it. So, yeah. I really don't want... Why, why, why the process is way too slow in here? Why is showing me he's trying to read something? I don't know. So, I didn't program any way to detect if you, if you press something for a short while. I was going to do that for a fighting game, but not for a general use game. And do I want to deal with that now? Like if you press down and in two seconds if you didn't release it or if you didn't make the right combo two seconds is way too long uh let's say 0 0.8 second uh it won't be considered that you press it in the right sequence uh i was going to do something like that for a fighting game to make the combos or the key combinations it seems i need something similar when I press down and release down in a certain amount of time, then uh, you pick the item. So we need to do that in a different way in here. But to, to be honest, I'm stuck to losing it. So we have this. It seems I improved the track good enough. I mean, I don't see it have an issue, but we didn't just track with the uh, 
with the items because we need to deal with taking an item. to read a little bit maybe I'm a little bit conflicted should I go and search characters take items by pressing down no it won't give me any result I mean how can I search such a topic I have no idea I never learned um, game design in anywhere and uh, sometimes small tasks, small things like these make me reconsider a lot of things that I've done in my life. It's just like, why, 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 why are you making a game engine if you don't know even how to make a game? But, uh, yeah, yeah, for now, we don't care how the item is taken. Is it by releasing? Is it by pressing? As much as we want to test the freaking bag if it works or not. So, um, so for now, for now, for now, let's let's let's. Uh, the the easiest way to do this is by adding a new script from the game itself, and not making it uh, a general use. This is the easiest way ever. Even though I'm not really happy with that, but hey, this is the first um, script that I added by using the game I and I, so it shouldn't be that horrible. So let's go to the game I and I in the shared function, shared function, shared test project, game I and I. And in here, when it initialize, uh, I already done something. I initialized the graffiti, so yay. We will add in the share function. Wait. It should be then uh, add. Is it a shared function? Hmm. 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 It should be a character function. It shouldn't be a shared function. Give me a second. We have an issue. We have an issue. The issue is, um, the shared function are called before the game I and I, isn't it? I changed the order already. I hate this crap. Um, let's add to the game I and I another function. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, so here. I do the game core all initialize but the share function initialize is called by the game core engine isn't it No, it's called by this. Okay. Okay. By the test game. Before we even settle the platform. Damn. So it's before the update. Yeah, which it, it should be. Hmm. So what we're going to do. We are going to change some of the stuff. We are going to change the the uh, game I and I. 
I and I. I and I, I and I. We are going to here and we will call it Let's call it additional function initialize. So here we're going to add a new one. And in test three, we're going to use it. Work. Uh, wait. Then it should be static, but I cannot add static in here. Don't you love interfaces? All right, here we can define that sucker. So even though I'm not happy with this code, but whatever, whatever, we're going to add it. But it should be um, creature class shared action. Friction tag. Um, take item. Map. T C R O and IFAC C map. map really what does this do of course What the hell is this? I don't remember what is this. Congratulations. Um, it must be part of the game engine, but uh, not the... Uh... Oh! This is how you take items. Uh, yeah, yeah, this code need a major fucking cleanup, definitely. It's uh, complicated, it's... Uh, it's uh, define new types of items on the fly, but... Um, and it deals with the... Um, Even the sparks not finished there. It deals with the <sighs> you you can make the items depends on the game, for example, used when you touch them instead of taking them. So uh or whatever. 
uh, you can make even hard code in here. But uh, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Too much code. Too much code. It needs to be simplified. Now let me write to myself a note about that. And I'm not reading that anymore. I was reading it yesterday before my brother dragged me away from my manga. Damn it. Dragon Quest. I don't want to close it because I don't want to memorize the page I reached. Uh, what a new script. In map class. Uh, set group, uh, item group update is a bit too much code. Need to simplify it. I don't know how to write simplify! I'm sure it's not like this, but uh, let's see. Simplify. What? It is correct. Really? But this is look, look, not symbol. Uh, this is the first time I wrote it, and I was like, no, it's the Y, the I is wrong, and then no, it's not wrong, and then symbol. Let's keep it symbol. Get out. So I'm not happy with the code, but what to do? So here, 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 we uh, just add a new section. This is the map simulator, you idiot. You idiot. I'm not happy with this code. We will deal with it later, but we may take items. So in here, when I press down to walker, I can try to do this. Take item. Save. Replace. Test. And there you go. Oh yeah, it's wrong uh, image, but I don't care. Can I move it? Uh, cannot move it yet. <sighs> the shape item is wrong. Wait, is this right in here? What happened? Nah. I don't know what happened. Why does it show the... Oh, 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 I didn't replace the image. Uh, I need to replace it with the new image. So, uh, test three. I remember I replaced it in here. This one. So it's P, let's update it. Remove. Oh, give me a fucking break. Compile. Uh, next step is we need to check the code Why the flies on the screen because it want to die get the fuck out um, We want to check the track for the back Oh, God.
this need to die this need to die I, 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 I will try to fix this this doesn't look good So it uh, it works, but it doesn't move the item because I believe in the old code we moved the item in the uh, in here in the upper uh, menu component, I believe. So in the drop. We could make it drop to different places, including the character uh, weapon slots. If not, it drop into the inventory MC mouse drop. So let's do that. Let's test this. Still not works. Um. Hmm. I believe because it didn't work because. Oh, you can do that now, huh? Figured. It doesn't fire because it doesn't fall in the... Oh, maybe I must reload. Okay. Oh, give me a fucking break. Yeah, it must drop on the menu. Because it didn't drop in menu, because I'm not dealing with the menu. You motherfucking stupid. Alright, so it is an item, so all of this works, all the fucking thing work, then what doesn't work, the back from works, the item too, uh, so the calculation fucked up. Okay, yesterday we bashed up this code um, and didn't check. So it's minus 20. The current mouse and the uh, release position. release position and the current mouse is the same whoops 
This should be star tracking. Uh, no? Let me think. No, it doesn't matter where did I start tracking. It doesn't matter at all. What matters is the release position minus x actually. So it should be. Um, let me test the fury. Let me test the fury. First of all, let's make things less red. And here. Because before it didn't use the relative variables, it took the pure numbers of variables. Now we have relative variables, I believe. Let's see. Let's see. I believe I can cry. I believe the cruelty of the world. I believe the skeletons doesn't. I don't know. All right, not fucking perfect because it should consider, even though I have the midpoint thing, but uh, I need to fix the midpoint thing again because life is cruel. Um, Wait. Oh, the system brain thing it doesn't work. So let's fix the system brain thing. I believe I can die. I believe. I'm not immortal. I believe my code is good. And I believe... Hmm. Let me test the performance in the older project and see because we have different variables in there. We use local variables. So if I drag this and leave it here, or drag this and leave it in the corner, yeah, actually, it's not that perfect either. But it's. Uh, Definitely better than what we have. Oh, does it calculate the distance as well? Oh boy. Hmm. Oh boy. Actually, I've done a really good job in here. Hey. But uh, now I need to figure out again what the heck is going on. Um, hey, hey, hey. Great. <sighs> Why life is complicated? Why life is complicated? Um, oh, sorry. I completely remove the mouse X from
Oh wait. It used the um, the control manager in here as well. Did I did I fucked up the code in here? No, no. Hmm. Yeah, th that's why this code is a little bit messy because it defined these variables again. And I don't want I'm going to work on that and remove all local ones. I already removed the local ones in the bag. This is completely fucked up, isn't it? Um, this have nothing to do with... Uh, So if I hmm. 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 Should I remove the midpoint crab? Hmm. If I drag the mouse to the right midpoint of the box, it will drop it here. So here. But if I drag it and drop it on the left of the center, it will drop on the box. So if I drop it here on the left but down, it will drop it here. So, hmm. We could add half of the side of the slot to fix this, but that might make an issue. That might, when you drop it here on the corner, it will drop it back. So, math, math, math. We need to fix this freaking math. Well, it used round, so, hmm. 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 Um. It test this part, doesn't it? The first one, yeah. Yeah. So just quickly, quickly, quickly and dirtily, let's um, add five in here. Uh, I'm telling you, this will cause issues that you don't want, but just quickly. Quickly and dirtily, dirtily, dirtily. Because five is the half of the side of the, the size of uh, the, the small box, but uh, so if I leave it here, figured. If I leave it here, here, 
here. Yeah, I figured it became the other. Uh, yeah. So symbol math. How to fix this in the symbol math? I don't know. I don't know. And uh, to be honest, now I don't care. Uh, let me test it again in here because the calculation is a little bit different. But do we have the same issue? Let's take a uh, health back. Oh, e. So if I leave it in here, if I leave it in here, yeah, actually it's, it has the same issue. If I leave it down, but if I leave it down, it doesn't show the issue. But on the right, it has the, not all the time, depends on where I drag it. Huh. As you can see here, we have ghost ring effect, but we don't have it in there because this has its own draw function. When I drop outside, it get the item stuck like this. Hmm. Let's test the new game. So this new game is supposed to be better than everything. I don't have even the uh, image. So next we're going to program the image. The goal of the new engine is to make everything easier. So I might need to um, to make this part calculated inside the bag MC. And if I want to make additional thing, this thing will do the additional thing. But this part should be part of the stupid uh, bag. Actually, what am I looking at? It is part of the stupid bag. Oops. Um, hmm. Okay, okay, okay. If we drop it outside the bag, we send the call to the owner and the owner do the stuff all right that's much better then the owner must have uh, an action for that mm, yeah 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 we will do that we will do that uh let me write down a note i'm almost falling asleep on my face, but I need to wake up. <sighs> Let's press down, take an item, implement object interaction, soon, soon, soon. Let our implement the drop in the bag MC to call the owner MC drop when the item drop outside. So we can make it to drop it on the equipment slots and equip them and um, print or draw a ghost 
image for the icon when dragging it make pad mc do that too so we're going to work on these two in the next hour and um hopefully we will implement use as well implement item use and uh, the cleanup the cleanup i should work on it soon i shouldn't put it far away i don't know yeah i feel this is important to clean it up so we will put it somewhere here um so we will work on these two and hopefully this third one after the break
Thank you.
We're back, and the cold start to play with me a little bit, and um, I really want to go to sleep, but I really need to work. So I'm going to be more chill, hopefully. Implement the to hop on the bag MC to call owner MC when the item outside starts. So let's try to do that. So let's start the timer. So, in test 2, more shell please, in test 2, this is the drop. And let's check if it is not a creature for some reason. And let's do some kind of funky, wanky, lanky, danky, quanky thing. So, um, this should be called from inside. Actually, in here it's the opposite. Okay. But it doesn't exit the code when it's done in here as well. And here for the item, now it's the opposite. So what are we going to do? And here...
We need to flip this code. Actually, no. If it's not item, then just cancel everything. Else, menu component, holder bag MC, mouse release, mouse top. How do you do it? You do it like this, I believe. New. This. I completely forgot how you do it. Um. Let's forget about this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Um fucking happy now. Now we want to check if it has the good idea. Uh, this so I'm going on purpose try to crash the uh, object if we remove this and we go here and we remove this it should crash when I drag an item outside the bag and drop it on the menu Didn't it didn't they didn't they didn't they didn't 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 did he did he did he did he Come on.
Why? Doesn't even fucking check. Oh God. Actually it um, Alright. Oh, fucking silly me. Because the drop doesn't happen inside, so it doesn't happen inside. Fucking silly, fucking good for nothing, silly, fucking stupid me. Um. Okay. 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 Hmm. All right, all right, all right. Fuck me. Uh, the way how I think sometimes. Yeah, this is annoying me, but hopefully when we see the ghost, it will help me to locate the item position. So... Do you have a ghost image? Alright. I will just copy the code. Even though the code is in here, we are going to move the code in there. Even the code says it's bag MC related uh, crap, so I don't know why I didn't move the code into the bag MC. How about if we do, um, hmm, I can see the issue. Uh, I can see the issue. I can see the issue. This code is fired for all and every bag menu component. So if you have more than one bag, we need to ask who contained the sucker, which is the holder. So, uh, and control manager, cur mouse, mm, mouse cur vec. Um, menu component set G
So here, What was the mouse to acquisition to? The drag farm. What should the drag farm? This fucking calculation. So this is the differences between uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, this must be registered. And I believe I registered it already. Here. Second, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Why it is 20? Shouldn't it be the size of the... And make it uh, a little bit more transparent. Don't we have a bag size? From the bag, instead of using 20. So if we go to uh, the bag creation, bag size X, yeah. So instead of using 20 and whatever, we're going to make some calculation. So in the bag, So here in a set of 20, Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Bag size X. Oh, come on!
What's wrong? I'm gonna be a blow. Blow it out. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Of course. Oh, 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 it's a midlet? Really? Can't I access it? Oh, because I was following the standard by making everything into getting setter and getter. And the standard is fucking with you now. Happy now? And besides, it need to be float. Um... This is what happens when they teach you crap. There must be reasons before, but uh, whatever. I mean, they say for protection and whatever. Like you make the conditions inside and whatever. doesn't convert like this immediately. Later on, I need to return to all the Octave classes and make them hold the reference. No, sorry, all the instant type of classes and hold the reference to their own Octave classes so I can access the data in there from that easily. So. Where the fuck are we? Yeah, here. So I want to replace... You know this is the wrong variable. Congratulations. And this variable show the size of the row and the size of the column. But the, the, uh, I want the size of the uh, slot size. And the slot is fixed in the drawing, but not in the bag. 
and I can scale it later on but I don't want to see the number in here so give me a second so when we uh, click here I want to replace the 20 with but this is the wrong number so let's go to the bag I'm not sure, but I believe this is the item, like the bag's um, size, like the the roll size. I believe, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And here, yep, 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 yep. So even this one is fixed. Oh well, it's all fixed. I I want the slot size and it seems I didn't make a variable for that. Even the editor use a fixed one. It's not variable when in here. This one is a fixed size. There's an uh, oh wait. It says the frame size in here. No, the frame of the item itself, not the grid. Oh well. Give up. Give up, let's go continue. Give up on this. You wasted way too much time on this, and uh, I always click on this by mistake. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? So uh, yeah, I completely forgot what I was doing, but I'm supposed to draw, to draw a ghost image and, and it will only draw it inside its own bag. If you leave the mouse outside, it will stop drawing it completely. Why? Because I don't want to see when you have two bags and when you start dragging the item, see it everywhere. So how to fix it if it's go outside but not on the bag? I might let something else do it. We will hmm. Wait, the drag item is static. Maybe I should make the uh, map draw it. Okay, let's take a look. See, when uh when it goes outside the 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 bag, it disappear. The 
it's this horrible. It's so delicate and I hate it. When you click quickly on it because the update only detect the clicking on the update function. So it's uh, and the, the drop position it's still fucked up. Hmm. <sighs> because the drop position doesn't use this variable, let's fix that. So in the drop position You know what, because I'm using the current position of the mouse itself, not the local position of the mouse on the, uh, on the, um, On the GUI, I this might work. So uh, I'm going to use the fixed position of the item and instead of the location of the uh, the item holder. And now I'm talking in talismans, tal talismans, talosum, pray. It fucked up. Completely fucked up. It completely fucked up. Uh, let me see what the debuggers say. Because this thing already divide over twenty, I believe. So what? Oh. Yep. Uh, yep. 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 Oh, fuck this shit. I'm losing my patience. I'm losing my fucking patience. Two and a half and fifty five. And he round it happily.
Why don't I just copy the code? This is my point, and uh, this is the uh, the item form. And because current x mouse x, which should be the same, minus the location over twenty. What's the difference between current mouse x and mouse position x? Let's take a look. Sixty-seven, sixty-seven, and uh, the mouse position is negative thirty-five. A uh, big difference. What's negative thirty-five? over the scale damn it I forgot about the scale completely If the scale change, this won't work. So I shouldn't use this without the scale. This is fucked up. This is really fucked up. For now, I'm not scaling anything. I'm not zooming. I'm not changing the, uh, the, 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 the resolution. But when I do, calculation will change. The easiest way to solve it is just divide it over the scale in here and pray that it will work. That's the easiest way that I can consider fixing that. But otherwise, yeah, it's the main menu. It's only related to the main menus. Pray. 
but this is not it. This is not the end. Oh god. I might need to fix all of them. I completely forgot to have this. Well, this is on the scale, so no problem. What's the third one? Hopefully it's the same space on these two. Yeah, it's based on these two, so no problem. No problem. Anyway, anyway, sorry about that. I'm going everywhere. Um, trying to make things smoother. And I'm fucking up heavily. So... Um, Okay, and this one using the scale too, but wait a minute. Oh fuck, now I fucked myself. Um, easy, 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 easy. I remove it from here. Actually, I might not need to send it anymore because, oh, fuck me, fuck me, what the hell, I'm getting tired now, all of a sudden, uh, this is the menu scale and this is Atia scale, and, uh... This is the whole thing scale, not only the menu. This is no good. This is really not good. And instead of sending the mouse location to everywhere, I should. Just let uh, use the control manager values. This is really not good. And in there, he should uh, deal with scales. Because I add the scale later on, I didn't add it immediately. I add the menu scales, then later on, I made resolution scale. And now, um, um, yeah, yeah, I discovered how my code was not that good, as good as I thought. Oof. I really hate it. I mean, now the game is not scaled in any way. Neither the menu nor the game is scaled, but when it's get introduced, it will have issues like the first test. So when I test the, res the resolution and start manipulating again, updating the stuff, I need to consider changing the map. So let's write off. Oh, this is killing me. Let me close it. Let me close it. Oh, I have two pages of them as well. So let me close this.
and instead of sending mouse position to the menus maybe I should use the control manager mouse curve and instead so it deals with universal menu scales and RT scale calculations and prevent screwing it up and uh, I don't need to make local mouse position because it confused the hell out of me sometimes even though it makes calculation easier sometimes but we could use minus the location x on stuff So it seems I will never finish with the step of um, I completely forgot what I was doing. I was trying to fix something and I completely forgot. Is it the ghost? Yeah, well the drop. I'm not happy with the drop location and I'm trying to make it uh, better. And I was fucking confused. With this code, and I was like, um, let's just copy it, and I'm going to do that, fuck it, and put it here instead of this. And there's no Bitpoint crap, it's just like, but this will not work, but whatever. Yeah, I fucked it up. It didn't work. You cannot tell I'm losing my patience in a stupid way. So this one is just do the midpoint, whatever. What I'm trying to do How about floor it? Let's floor it.
Let's take a look. I like it. I like it. It makes much more sense for me. But the drag, when you click on it, and it's not in the update time, yeah, I don't like it. I don't like that one. I like it much more than the midpoint crab. So let's remove some of some of the parentheses. Instead of having 1,000 parentheses. All right. Um, make job items feel nicer. Um, Now let's go to the item, and it has a user tributary, so let's try to call it. And calling it, we need to use double click, and um, we could either put it in the bag, or in the holder, but I prefer to put it in the bag. And we're going to make a flag to uh, make it uh, possible to use the item or not.
Give me a second. All right. And it gets fucked. Find a faction. Use uh, HP 52. Oh, it didn't send, uh, a tribute checked. So item tag initializer, uh, to pass the first keyword. But the first keyword wasn't use, so the first tag Let's chat a little. No, frick you, Elysia. Elysia? Eliza. Eliza? A tribute check. Hmm. It shouldn't be a tribute check. It should be uh, use. No? Attribute check HP 25 and it peak. Oh, 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 wait. No, it's no, 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 yes, yes, no. Um, hmm. So, checked that first. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. Okay, 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 fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. 
So it should be uh, when I use it. It's called find action share, really? Hmm. Wait. Shouldn't it call the check tribute immediately? Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't word pass. Let me take a look on the other guys. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't word pass. I thought it will send the trigger with it. But I felt wrong. I fixed it in the wrong way. Yay. Let's see what's the new crash. Maybe because I'm not damaged. I need to program a way to damage myself. Need to damage myself to test it. Uh, let's try to do a very, 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 very crappy way to damage myself. I mean, I need to program bullets first, and I don't know if I'm going to work on improving the bullets or not. To be honest, I should take more time in doing these, because the goal is not just to re-implement, the goal is to make them easier to implement. So, to be honest, I'm doing a very bad, horrible job now. I'm doing it lazily. I'm just copy based and make it work. No, this is not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be looking at the code, analyze it, and try to fix the problem. But fixing the issues, as you can see, it needs to root out a lot of bad code. So each step is should I should consider spending more time on it. Like when I took a look on the map class, I would deal with the uh, group item and how it stake. The code is horrible and I need to... I sleep earlier than to sleep before the prey time in the morning. But I shouldn't beat myself up on that. I'm doing a lot of code hiding. And uh, we're doing good so far. We're doing so good so far. This I'm not happy with because when you leave the bag, it doesn't do so. Uh, I, I either throw it in three different codes one when I drag it outside the bag, which is in the map, and when it enter a different bag, when it enter a different bag, it will actually take code from the current bag, which it will be wrong. It will be wrong. So um, this is no good. This is no good. No wonder I made it to be drawn from the holder. So, um, this is no good. So, what I'm going to do next. I'm going to add a box that have an inventory. 
make a new object that have its own bag and uh, call and when in you one step at a time when interacting with the box or create or whatever box object open its bag make dragging an item draw a ghost everywhere when moving away from the box close the uh, uh, um, object inventory MC make it possible to open more than one inventory MC make items movable between those inventories and um, add a bag in the map make the bag open an inventory MC when using it and when we, we need to work on, on all of that to be honest i don't want to go and sleep but no let, let's try to finish these today yesterday i really done horrible progress today i need to um more to do more progress so we will work on that and um yeah 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 i'm making notes on which part of the course to refactor and make it simpler but hopefully hopefully i will uh, work on that I, I need to take my time i'm kind of trying to rush because i want to return to the project that i'm working on williams ordeal but in the same time this is a game engine let's make a good game engine i want to use this game engine to create a game so let's try to fix the code instead of jumping around it um i'll be honest not happy not happy not happy with this menu mc even though it's much shorter than uh, the original one uh this is uh, like my inventory this is the original one but still i'm not happy with it but this one support three slots for the equipment and it support control but we 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 i'm going to change a lot of stuff i'm going to change all of a lot of stuff this one will be completely scripted somehow and we will see we will see Yeah. yeah, yeah, not happy with the code, neither this nor that, both of them are ugly, but whoopie doo, whoopie doo, um, be right back. <laughs>
Thank you.
Alright, let's finish working for the last hour of today. I'm not going to work six hours, five hours will be good enough for me. And uh, let's start by creating a new object. So we will go to the object sprites. This is not the right one, is it? Hmm. We 
have more advanced one, don't we? This is like the first one ever. Yeah, we have switch and a crab one. Oh. Oh, wait. You're telling me we don't have a sprite in here? Oh. Well, we have this one. So this is an old one. Even this one is kind of questionable. SP1 Why do I have an object that's bigger than Earth? I don't know, just for testing, I guess. Yeah, yeah, for testing, if I flip it, can I walk on it? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, it has different forms. Yeah, yeah. So it's transparent already. So what we're going to do Mother Russia. Mother Russia, Mother Russia. Okay. For Mother Russia. Oh, we we do we do ba da 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 da. Bobby. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Can you pick a color that doesn't seem as boring um, why did we lose a line is that really a crime of all first of all first of all let's finish it oh um. 
No, I know, I know if I copied it from the internet. I won't have to do this. Bombidoo. If we do this, do we get ourselves a create, a create, a create? I don't know how to pronounce that word. A box. The problem is if I say box, people will jump and laugh because it's a box. And because I'm a really good artist and I know where to shade stuff. The color in here, if we make it a little bit different, Some of it is transparent and is fucking it up, and I didn't know, and uh, we are screwed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this color, and I'm going to redraw the line. And call it a day. I cannot color the, the other type, really. Um, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Now. If I do this, then I do this. And no, it doesn't, it doesn't want to remove, so I must select this. Oh, I, I, I hate everything. I hate everything. Forget it. I was going to write B or whatever. I can do this, but it would look stupid, but better than my own attempt to make a style box. But, uh, yeah. The 
does look not only stupid but ugly too. No, I can't make it look. Whatever, I'm wasting way too much time on this. All right, what next? What next? We need to add this stupid box in the editor. One of the stupid things, I run the wrong project, that if I want to change the size of the bag, I need to create a new bag with a new size. And I wonder if I should make a script to uh, change the size of the bag. Oh, of the bag. Source TTV. Hello, hello. Welcome to the boring channel. I've been coding for five hours and I'm low in energy. And now I'm trying to add a new object. So let's go to the game files, now the workspace, the new map simulator and crash what just happened when loading a sprite something went wrong did we just delete the wrong file or something? What did we do? What did we do? We made a screwed up and I'm not sure. Um, let, let's just try again. Let's edit the game file here. All right, and you fucked up. Mm. SP1 I don't know I fucking don't know So let's go with us Da 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 do 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 yep 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 and I don't remember any of the words in the song. Mm hmm hmm hmm. This is the old position. Something went wrong. Da -da. Da -da. So this is the game file location. And this is the content. And the TMS is SPSP1. My broken keyboard is scaling. Me, me. SP1 and PNG, 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 that's SP1 PNG. Hmm. 
The funny part is I have been moving and removing and doing crap all the time and it never cried and all of a sudden it's wrong. It just doesn't want to work. Doesn't this path get edited after, not before? Find your offenses. I really hate this kind of errors. Uh, everything is fine. Nope. All of a sudden, nothing is fine. Like, I've been editing this file like forever now. So here it load the file, but here it update. But this one you click OK. And the error, the call stack happened earlier. It happened when? When I clicked on edit or load the game on the edit here. And this one is not the same one, is it? Hmm. Give me a second. Give me a second. I don't know why this was working and now not. Uh, and, um. Uh, Yeah, this definitely is not correct. It's... So what we're going to do, we're going to back to create game and copy this. Actually copy both of them. Because my bath, my bath, bath. Do I need to take a bath? Oh, we don't have a GF name, but we have the name of the file in here. Which is the ifd file name, so we need But does this take the, um, hopefully not, hopefully not. We will check, we will check. So we can move this. And here. We uh, could use this. Actually, it's already doing that. And uh, so let's test this. Freaking funny. How did it work all this time? Oops. Wrong. No, great. Oh, to take the test, it is the safe name. So this one is actually same as this one. There's a way to take safe name or whatever it's called. Get the file name that extension for the file select and dialog. The file name does not include the path. Um, can I get the set string contain the file name select in the file dialog? Get the file indicator. Oh, I know how. Oh. Oh, 
their function peak. I don't know what I'm doing. So, let's test it. One thing's fucked up for no fucking reason. It makes me angry. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Didn't I use the safe name already? Nope, I didn't use the safe name. The funny part is I'm working now on the new map editor for more than two weeks and it was working all the time. I shouldn't change the bath without thinking, but I'm just Trying to skip this fucking good for nothing. Okay, you need to calm down. Um, yeah, he's still having the GF. Because you don't know how to use peak, you fucking good for Okay. Okay. We should put here dot. Thank you. So here, on the uh, objects, we have the new image, the box, and we're going to create a new object of that type. One, two, three, four. Let's call it there. Let's calculate there. So this is our first official object, and it's the prayer time. So let's call it box, whatever. And uh, we can call it create, but whatever. So the frame, if the frame size is 48 by 48, and the size uh, the position is 3, no, not 3. So uh, if we go back, 1, 1, 2, 3. Oh, yeah, I made this. Ah, I forgot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 by 48 is like 7 by 50 minus 14, but whatever. 336. This one. How many form do we have? One. Do we uh, want it to be solid? No. Do we want it to, the character cannot cross it if... Uh, we we can give it solidity if we want, but I don't know. Do we need the default tag? Hmm. Like on the interact, use something. Let's check the old map editor. No, it didn't have all the um, default for we have for the switch. No. We didn't have for the switch either, huh? Because this is a faction, we could create a game engine script. So I don't need to recreate it every time to access the inventory, but actually we are not only accessing the inventory, we need to open the menu for the inventory and the menu is unique for each game, so that won't work. But uh, let, let's make uh, interact. What's the keyword for interact? I, I didn't have the, didn't add the script, uh, the, what do you call it? Uh, the micro builder in here, but whatever. I can check the spelling from the game itself. <sighs> Bart of... 
Yeah, I forgot to do that. And the I game I yesterday I was like I will do that and I forgot. I wanna separate these and make a new file to this class. So the I and I here, and I wanna make a file for the tag I and I. Even though this file, I mean the name here is small and everything, and I kind of just like, but uh, if I need to, no, okay, 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 okay. So let's go to the creature and take the trigger keyword. I mean, I don't think I need to do that. And I passed him. I don't see it. Oh yeah, it's um, excluded in the map because every map do that stuff to the entity that it behold. Oh, it's a trigger. Darn it. Whatever. Whatever. You 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 we wasting time. Save. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe I have the code somewhere in here as an example. Okay, okay, okay. Activate trigger and uh, let's make one up. Let's make one up because we can. I'm confused a little bit because I forgot how I do that. Uh, the thing is, I cannot access the maps in the old one because I screwed up how it works. I could fix it and go and check. I mean, if I come here, the campaign for some reason doesn't show, so I cannot see the code. So I could try to fix it, to access it and see how it works. And I'm really pff, avoiding that forever. Um, it's not a trigger, it's an interact, because trigger is something that affects something else, so it doesn't have, uh, but interact is an interact, so let's go to the object and see. Here, this one. Silly you, I can go to test two and see how the code works. Um, hmm. So it's interact use of interest.
and when I interact how it works, we will see soon. So the second keyword is use. I can copy this because this is the whole script. All right. All right. All right. This is the whole script for the object, which will affect. Uh, it will try to add a script to the. It will try to add a quest, and that's why I screwed up because I done something with the quest and I don't know and I don't want to fix it. I. So. Um, this is the default script, in short. So if I go here, and it crash because... What did I do to make these things crash? No, seriously, I was fucking fine just before the break, and now I'm breaking down like an idiot. I know what I did do. I replaced the file and I forgot to save it, and I closed it. That's what happened. So if I go to the bags, I won't see a bag. Because I was replacing this, then I stop it like that, and that's what happened, I believe. And that's fucked up everything. I should be careful. Um, If I go to the bags, yep, 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 yep. You didn't save the last changes, you fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. So, um... Oh yeah, the new stupid thing. Uh, the run is not in the share files, but in the desktop version. Uh, and we have errors as well. Uh, one by one, when, when was this error? Uh, no, that's five, five days ago, no problem. So we forgot to save this one. And we closed it. So let's replace it like this. So let's add the box again. In the object, let's make sure the bag exists and it doesn't exist. What? Why it doesn't exist? Didn't I add a bag in the map? Now I'm fucking confused. I'm sure I add a bag because Walker is holding it. Um, we are fucking everything. I have a bag. I have a bag. I have a fucking bag. Delete. Copy. Paste. No bag. No fucking bag. Maybe it doesn't update them for some reason. Let's try to add... I hate this shit.
What, what's happening? What's happening? Let's see if other things are missing. Even the item that, that um, it's not here. Fucking a. Fucking a. And where's the bags? The bags. This is the items. Uh, is it part of this one? Because I don't believe it. I believe the file detect the items but doesn't add them to the list maybe. I don't know how many items you have. Zero. I don't believe it. I mean we just run the game. And it doesn't only have a bag, it have even the item. So this is the item. This is the bag, even though it's look ugly. And I can even move it and try to use it and everything. And when I move the folder, I don't fucking believe it. Even the map have the data for the item in the bag, but in here, I just decided that it doesn't exist. Even if I take a backup, I'm taking this one and this one is using. I just run it 7 million times. I just run it now. I just copy it. Like, what the fuck? Am I posting the file in the right position? So, when... Uh, Workspace, Map Simulator 3. Uh, maybe I'm just too tired to focus on and I can see where is the problem. Delete, paste. I don't know how I'm not angry yet. I should be furious. This is way too stupid. Maybe it's the path, the stupid path. Something happened to the path again. <sighs> Wait a minute. Yep, I was loading the wrong one. It should be this one.
Why was there a file outside in there? Why there's a file in here? Why this exists in here? What the heck's going on? All right. All right, all right, all right. So object health back, it's here. Bag, like what the fuck was that? Let's add an object. This is taking way too long. Box, 48, 48, 36. Um, save. What was that? What just happened? Why the file did exist in there? So let's add a bag somewhere or a box. And we will give it a bag. And we consider it default. And let's put it on the floor. Oh, because it doesn't have collision um, area. It, hmm. Edit. Is it based on the wall or based on the collision? I don't remember. But let's give it a collision area. Unfortunately, I cannot zoom in here. Unfortunately. All right, now it works. Yeah, maybe if hmm. yeah, yeah, let's edit it. Let's get it a little bit higher. Yeah, save. So let's add the stupid box here on the floor. Can I make it not solid? I believe, I believe if I make it a uh, check tribute. Oh, it needs a name. It has a name. Uh, it need what does it need bag I don't see any box here then why it's not happy oh it doesn't show them what the heck oh fuck me Fuck me. If 
for some reason I can't see them. I mean, if I don't have enough issues already, why cannot I see them? Maybe because the map doesn't have layers yet? I don't know. No, it does, and it has four objects. It tells me that. This cell phone, if it doesn't shut up, I will fucking break it. It's the calendar, what? I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe Twitch is telling me, by the way, you put the vacation and it should end now or whatever. And I don't know. I don't know. It's screwed up the day or something. Um, I, I don't know what's wrong. Uh, they're fucking horrible. Fucking stupid. Let's go to the old system where it can detect creatures. Yeah, I do have them. Let's delete them from here. I can't delete them in here. I don't know, it should be deletable from here. Uh, let me save the map, whatever, and replace it. And if we have boxes over boxes, I don't care. Uh, I, I need to tell myself but a note and uh, yeah. Yep. Box. I didn't replace the, the game file. B2, 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 B2. I didn't replace the game file. No, it doesn't show them in here as well. Did I add a form to the uh, box? What's the problem? It has one form and it has a form here. It has a name, it has a prototype. It's not an item, the object tag. I have no fucking idea and it's even showing here. Are they behind the background? What? Is this kind of a joke? Let me put them in the front layer. I don't know where these boxes were. Are they below the tail? Yep. The fucking floor function is not functioning. Maybe it's related to the collision, not to the wall objects. 
but it shows the wall object what the fudge man what the fudge let me hold control The floor is not detected at all, like... Oh, this is not solid. Oh, fuck. Oh, Okay. Place it. Yep, it's, it's placing it below the tail for some reason. This thing is having me crazy. This thing is driving me crazy. Whatever, I will use the free thing. The free replacement. I could go and try to fix it, but... It should work. I mean, it should place on the stupid floor, but... Is it because on the behind the layer? I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's look ugly, let's look stupid, let's look everything that I am not proud of, but whatever, replace map. So if we you try to interact with it, What's the error? I lost it. I might need to do something. Hmm. Interact. Interact. Is it like this? I don't know. How did I do it in the old one? It crash anyway if the map doesn't exist, so... <laughs> Not if the map doesn't exist, if you don't go and activate the quest by going to the second map, it crash. But who called it the first time? It is a sub action. Da -da! I told you I'm deleting the sub actions because I'm going to replace them with tags. Seven hours ago, I said that. So we need to make a function to do interact instead of doing it like this. So this is the code for interact. Mm. 
it check the objects in the map that have the keyword used. First of all, check if the map have any object that have the keyword used. If not, it take all of them. So actually, this is redundant. But um, yeah, this is totally redundant. We don't need it. And uh, it call interact. So what are we giving to do? We are going in here, we'll do script, interact, save. Replace the game file. Go to game file three. I should make it part of the game, not part of the the engine itself. So in the game I and I, we will add a creature tag. Called interact. This fucking cell phone. This is an action, so we don't need this. Plus, that's it. Let's just we just shift the responsibility from the sub action into the shared creature faction. So. Get cold, get cold, activate. Oh, we didn't add any code to open chest. What does it do? But it didn't uh, crash. Weird. Maybe because it didn't detect any code that do that. Get collision RF. Hmm. It doesn't have a collision RF. That's one issue. Let's fix that. To fix that, do this and eight six thirty thirty. Save, save.
So yeah, it didn't detect any function for open chest. So what are we going to do? We're going to make a shared faction function and we will try to make this one uh, used dynamically somehow with whoever using that. So um, in the, um, uh, again, in the game I, I and I, we can identify that this is creature faction don't we have something like hmm let me think for a second um darn it Let me go to the share function file. The fucking mess. Hmm, let's take a creature over it. It can be null. So yeah, I want to add a new one here. But not in the engine, but in the game itself. Because each game holds its own uh, GBag, but I might make this one into the game engine if we can do it in a correct way. If I can do it in the correct way, we can actually. Uh... No, no, because every time I need to change the background and add a name or something, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe not. If I'm going to make it part of the game engine, it's there just to... Uh, it will be there just for testing purposes, so I can test stuff fast. But, in the same time... I mean, I can make a class, a new class, to... Or even a function. I can make a function to make updates on this class so I don't need to rewrite the code for this fucker every time I make a new game by changing the image and the scale it and everything. So I might consider doing that because to be honest, to be honest, I don't wanna rewrite this code every time I make a new game. I just want the game support me in making new game every time the, i mean i want the engine support me as much as possible <sighs> anyway here we want to add the shared faction factions which is this one
If you have a played Warcraft 2, you will know when I scream, WHAT? Okay. If I faction has bag Now we go to the game and add a new menu component to connect the bag. Object bag. Eleven, eleven. No. One of the problem is I don't have a reference to this. Hmm. Now, how can I get the reference for this guy so I can rebind it? By using this. One way to do it, which I'm not, I mind, don't want to do it. Uh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Another way to do it is to do this. Now, okay, and here we uh, make two public static walker bag. Let me see, object bag. Let me see. Now we can have a reference to it. Mm, is this is not the game core game? This game, oh, I must. Uh, even if I do that, I need to uh, what do you call it? Uh, cast it, so I'll just like test game free. Update with the I faction.
And then um, I could make a f my cell phone want to kill me today, and it would get destroyed instead. I could make something to show, so uh, I can do something like uh, I usually put show in the beginning. Public void show uh, menu component group visibility ah, show me visibility group set visibility uh, genome true so instead of using this code here we can use the reference in there by doing this great let's take a look of course it will crash Why am I say sit back in here? Oh, this is the this constructor. I can send a fake bag. And instead of putting no, which actually I did that in this too. I remember I did that. I saw the code somewhere. If you can figure out where the hell was that. here so I could do something like this fuck you fuck me fuck everyone do you know what? Just send this one back. Oh, fuck me. First of all, what is there? Because I might made a mistake. It's open chest. This is the whole code. But wait, why there is no first keyword? It should be the whole code. 
But uh, mm, this is the whole code, isn't it? Open chest. So there's no parameters, which is fine. So T is empty. But the creature is Walker. And the faction is Walker again, which is incorrect. Oh, I see. It seems the fucking good for nothing code I made was not good enough. When I try to make a reference to here, it seems this didn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. Sometimes I impress even myself. Of course it's null, but because I want to initialize it. Oh God, it's just, oh God. Sometimes I impress even myself. Okay, okay, it's not optional anymore. Fuck it. The problem is when I interact with the object now, Can I call a quit? Maybe I should I call a quit. Uh, I was supposed to stop working 20 minutes ago, but I was like, no, I want to see some result at the end. And I'm just soldiering on. Um, focus. Focus. Fucking focus. So this is the MC. So now this one is still fucking null. Why it didn't um, set it? I need to get it from the BO, but the BO already has. Mm, Wait, 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 fucking wait. Yeah, 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 do the same thing. Now we go to test three. Still null. Still fucking null. Still testing my patience.
I believe I made a static function in the main component to find um, yeah 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 I did so um, fuck this shit fuck this shit and fuck this shit Can I have their references, please? Thank you. Jesus fucking Christ. I shouldn't say that, but... And we crashed. Because I pressed up. Fuck me. Why did you press up? Why do you program a request fire and you don't program the script? And there you go, but um... Eh. Uh -huh -huh -huh. We fuck everything. Uh, what? Uh, what? One of the one of the problem is the inventory that we opened was Walker inventory, not the bag inventory. So let's try to open this. And for some reason, we have this component in here. Only God knows how did that happen. Hmm. Is it part of the sitting? Maybe it's the resolution of the sitting for some reason. So if I go to the sitting, in the game, This is the fucking selector, you fucking idiot. So one of the problems is this doesn't reflect the bag of this. It reflects the bag of Walker, which is incorrect. So um,
Let me track it down. I believe I'm using the wrong function pool. It should be the object uh, function pool. So if we go to I game I and I, and we go to the objects, no, the objects are not initialized in here. They are initialized in the map. The map, the map. But uh, why did it accept in here? Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, let's close the setting. I'm going to throw myself onto uh, through the window. It just. I don't remember my cell phone make these noises as well. It was silence as the grave, which was good. And now uh, more noises as well. I don't know what just happened. This thing doesn't tell me. Ah, someone is following you. Thank you, oh server. For the following. So now we do the interact and yeah, actually it initialized in the I game I and I. So we come here, the trigger is handled from, from the map here. So I should use this one. I believe. So this one is send itself and is send the I faction. Do we need to know about the creature when I open the bag? I don't think so. So we could use this one. So in the game I and I, we use object class. I hate you. I fucking hate you. And we use this one. I have been working for a while and I am starting to lose my patient. So sorry if I curse too much. Uh, this one is an action. And I believe it has a different uh, parameter so it has a map class really and it has an object and it has a string and it has an object so here we can ask if the object but wait 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 I wanted to make a function to open for anyone, but oh well. For, for now, let's do this. Great. So this is the inventory. This is my inventory. This is the bag inventory. Now, if I drag it, do we drop it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, as I said before, we will have an issue that if the item go outside, it won't draw the ghost because I made the code inside the bag. in here 
So if we want to make it throwable everywhere, we could remove this condition, but it will make an issue. Wait, the draw is not static. Actually, there is no issue. Let's see. Yeah, see, I was afraid of that. Because each one of them will throw the item. One of the problem is, I made the game to only support dragging one item at a time. And this will be changed when I support dragging items with a joystick. So if I drag an item with a joystick, it should not use the mouse drag to use the joystick drag. And to use the joystick drag we will be able to make more than one player drag more than one item at a time in that time i can check which bag hold the item Wait a minute, when I drag the item, when I click on the item, it remember which pack is it. So if break. Pray, pray, pray. Let's take a look. So this is the bag. I mean the create bag. And this is my bag. And if we do this, ha ha! It only draw one item. Because it check which bag is it. If the item is not from my bag, it doesn't draw again. So this one get cancelled only if the item is from the same bag. And I don't need to bother the map class with it. It will take a while to make the items drop on the floor when you do this. It will take a lot of work. Uh, but now I'm happy that this is working now. After all this headache and good for nothing checking and stuff and stupid thing and god. Make a new object uh, that has its own bag. When interacting with the box, open the bag. Make dragging an item draw a ghost everywhere. When moving away from the box, close the object of C. We didn't do that yet. Add a bag in the map, not yet. Make a bag open. Make it possible to open more than one inventory MC. Kinda, kinda, kinda we did not. But you can only in open one. Hmm. So, um. If I, I cannot close this anymore, can I? So this is the new bag for this box. So if I move this, go here, move this, 
from here. So yeah. Uh, do I want it to have more than one? If I want to have it more than one, then I need to change some of the stuff. I need to... Uh, One way to do it is to make a list. To turn this into a list. But turning this into a list just means this will have a dynamic number. If we're going to make this have a dynamic number, it works differently. It, I need to check out how did I do that. Deleting and adding new menus to the priority list. Uh, deleting and adding stuff to the priority list is kind of scary a little bit. I done it before and it was working perfectly before, but uh, I need to redo it. I'm afraid I need to redo it. Maybe I will do it for the bags, but not for the objects. Um, I believe that's it for today. I don't want to add uh, do any more. Let me read E, but if I hit 20 minutes more, well, what's this? Then I uh, can call myself I done full time. Should I do that? I haven't prayed yet in the break time 40 minutes ago. Make a new script for the conditions. No matter which expression is fired, remove all local. Mouse will light it when moving away from the box. Close the object inventory. Add a bag in the map. Make the bag open. Make it possible to open more than one inventory MC. Make items movable between those inventory already done this. Make object interaction. We done the uh, the box inventory, but we didn't do um, we uh, didn't do the switch. Implement walker weapon attack. Implement walker layer. Yeah, I believe I done enough work for today, so I can end it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you, all server for uh, the follow. Sorry if I have no more energy to do anymore. And uh, to be honest. I need to do more refactor. This, uh, I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy. Actually, I cannot avoid this code, but to make a reference like this in this way, I, yeah, I'm, I, no, yeah, I know. Oh well, this is better than nothing. This is better than nothing. Um, At least it's cleaner. So far, it's much cleaner than. Uh, than this. So. But uh, actually, if I'm going to pre uh, implement the slots for the weapons, uh, I will have similar code. So it's not that cleaner. I will figure things out. I'll figure things out. I'll figure things out. Anyway, anyway. Thank you for watching. I'll see you. Tomorrow is off. See you in two days.